nothing wrong with decorating your home to show a little holiday spirit. Hey guys, happy holidays to you. I wanted to make a separate video on just the system side of the equation. I'll have a link at the end of this video with the number side of it. I've gone ahead and ordered the third Pecron system, which is going to be sitting right here by the time I'm through. I have to install all the solar panels as well. I have one 560 watt panel ready to go right now, so I'll be able to power it up as soon as it gets here, but not fully. Let me give you a bird's eye view of what I'm going to do as far as the panels are concerned. So here is the before, and I'm going to take this little 115 watt Renogy out of there, slide all of these down so they're even with this last board, and then I'm going to make two rows of the 115 watt Renogies covering this whole lower area underneath those panels. You can see that shade is going to be the issue and I'm going to explain that later. Oh, there's one more thing, sir. After seeing the large discrepancy between the deeper angle rack and back and the shallower angle, I decided to do a little test with this one. And so I just bumped up another layer of block. So I raised this back in just eight inches and just that little difference in angle created more than 100 watts of difference in output. Before it was about 275 and once I tipped it up a little bit higher it was just shy of 400. I you would excuse me, I have work to do. You want to be part of the film, huh? Yeah, you want to be part of the film, yeah. You and your brother. I've removed the Renogy panel that was sticking out over the end put the end cap board up and what I've decided is I'm also going to lift up these panels here just a little bit using these little shims that I've made so I'm going to increase the angle of these just a little bit let's take a look at that once I got them up in place here is the old angle and there is a new one and here is all the supports. I'll paint this little end piece up. Got these all lifted up. Got the stickers peeled off the bottom side. Let's go in and check and see what we got. Total wattage at just shy of 1300. Now let's check the one next door. We're talking almost 1700 on that one. Still a huge difference. I want the truth! I'm getting ready to put these Renogy panels up and Originally, I had planned on doing one long row all the way along here, and it was because of the sun factor. I figured I would have more time in the sun with the whole row. But the problem with that was then I would have a whole portion of this right here, which I wanted to cover, would still be uncovered. So I'd have to figure out a way to finish this off as well. Instead of doing that, I decided to do two rows. They'll finish right here and they'll actually extend over a little bit. And then this whole area here will be covered. The only drawback will be this lower row will be in complete shade for several months during the winter time and therefore it won't be producing anything. However, in the summertime, it will be in full sun. That's when I need the energy the most. Trade-off's not really that bad. The added advantage of having it this way will be all of the connections on the underside will be available to me at all time, whereas part of them would be hidden on the roof, just like these ones are. I've got one other issue with these Renogies versus the sun goals. Let me show you. Renogy panels are only an inch and a quarter thick. I've got to shim up every one of these. Hey, I've got to shim up every one of these so that 
they end up level with that. One more thing. So it's been several days now since I've changed the angle of the panels feeding this pecoron here and I definitely notice an improvement. I'm getting a higher incoming wattage even without the Renogy panel. So this is four panels. We're still lagging way behind this one. See that one with just four panels we're at almost 2,000 watts. 11.30 in the morning. But actually so as you can see, I got the first two panels in and they're all hooked up, they're working. And here we see it in full sun early in the morning, about 40 watts. And about 37 on this one. Here is the first row fully installed. These last six are tied together in series. However, you can see by the shading that they're not going to really be producing anything until springtime, probably sometime in February. These will be in full sun. So I'll be installed on the bottom row next. And here's what it looks like with both rows installed. And you can see it's about 9.30 in the morning and just these ones down here on the end are going to be getting any sun during the winter time. Most of them are going to be in the shade. However, once spring rolls around, these will all be in full sun. Let's take a look at underneath. Definitely like this clean edge better. Don't have that one sticking out. get at all of the connections under here and the added bonus is this will now be a nice shady area in the summertime it's not going to be waterproof when it's raining it'll still have water dripping through but it'll be nice and shady here's the edge closest to the house just got to do a little bit of painting and here's what it looks like at night with all the lights up just put that string up today. See if we can see exactly how much electricity these lights use. So with them on, with them off. Sixty watts altogether. Well, I was really hoping to get this third Pecron set up in this video. However, I still haven't received the confirmation as far as shipping. So I think what I'll do is close off this video, and then when it gets here, whenever it gets here, I'll make a brand new video with just that system, how it's set up and how I've got everything powered at that point. So if you want to see that, make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. And next month I'll have the new chart up as far as the numbers and everything are concerned. Thanks for watching, have a happy holidays, and I'll see you soon, hopefully. The line must be drawn here, this far, no further. I'm finished.